Good morning ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Great Outdoors in Melbourne and today what I want to do is I want to take you guys on a journey to show you a little bit about the Great Outdoors and the rural lifestyle that we have here in Melbourne, Victoria. So when people talk about Melbourne, what generally comes to mind is the city the city life, the big tall buildings, but there's more to Melbourne than that. And today I'm about 20 minutes outside of the central business district of Melbourne, uh, 20 minute drive that is. And our first stop in the great outdoors is at the Organ Pipes uh, Park. It is a Victorian park and it has a lot to offer and what I'll be able to show you shortly will probably blow your mind. So this national park is a great example of a day out or a visit that you can do if you come to Melbourne, whether you live in Australia or not, it doesn't matter. But if you do come to Melbourne and you want to see what rural Victoria and rural Australia is about, this place is the place to come to and it doesn't take a lot of effort because as I said earlier, it's only 20 minutes away from the city, the Melbourne CBD. And there's a big or great or of significance, a big geological uh, rock formation here, which will allow you to great, get great photos, uh, but also learn a little bit about the history of this area and how um, subsequent volcanic eruptions has formed this interesting geological or, sorry, there's a few flies around today, uh, this structure, uh, this made of basalt, basalt stone, um, and has formed this particular organ pipe type of shape, hence the reason why it's called organ pipes. It's quite interesting. Me personally, I haven't been here for a while. I think the last time I came to this park, I would have been probably in the primary school. So I don't live too far from here either. So I'm quite excited about coming here today and I wanna share this experience with you. And this will be the first stop of a few other stops that we will do today on our way to the Macedon Ranges, which is also another close but great place to visit when you are in Melbourne and you should put that into your itinerary to get a feeling of what rural Victoria is about. So the hike down from the top where I park the car is about 800 meters to a kilometer down. It will be a bit tougher going back up the mountain or back up where I came from, as you can see behind me. But as long as you've got comfortable shoes, you're in particularly good health, and you've got some good clothes. Today's quite uh, overcast, so I've brought a jacket, uh, but put some comfortable running shoes on, or walking shoes, I should say, and don't be afraid to do a bit of a walk in order to reach the destination. You might hear there's planes overhead. This place is actually not too far from the airport as well. I'd say 15 to 20 minutes, not even, away from uh, the airport. So maybe when you land in Melbourne, you might want to come straight here. Uh, I don't advise that. Go to your hotel or go and get some rest first. But this particular place is not too far from the suburbs. So now we are walking down, not too far away from the organ pipes itself. So stay tuned and I'll be able to show you this beauty shortly. As you make your way down towards uh, the organ pipes, there's a number of these little uh, signs that talk about the flora and fauna in the area. 
Uh, and as you can see, the short-beaked echidna, sugar glider, superb fairy wren, little bird, and the bats. There's a number of bats around here as well. I'm guessing the bats come out at night. These are all native animals to this area. And if we're lucky enough, we'll see them today uh, down there, which is where the organ pipes are. And we'll be able to hopefully see some of these animals near the Jackson's Creek, which also runs uh, down the bottom uh, of this particular hike. So look, it's quite exciting. To So not only will you see an interesting rock formation there we go there's another plane taking off i think it's a Qantas like i said earlier very close proximity to the airport but coming back to what we're talking about if we're lucky enough we might even see some kangaroos we may see some echidnas I hope we don't see any snakes, but I know for a fact that if you do come here in the morning, uh, you will see kangaroos. Not too sure if we'll see kangaroos um, now as it's mid-morning, but you never know. Our journey continues. I've only been walking for about 15 minutes uh, in the time that I've been chatting with you guys. and. I've reached this sign which says organ pipes are only 80 meters away so we're not too far away and down b uh, behind the sign you can see the Jackson's River and we'll try and get close to that uh, but let's head over to the organ pipes first and then we can um, explore the river as well and look at this we've got another sign here so there's platypus in the actual or platypi I think uh, is the plural form for platypus uh, frogs very variations of frogs white face herons which are birds and a particular that looks like a, a type of grass tall spike rush growing on the banks yeah it's a particular grass growing inside and all of these animals res, uh, reside near the Jackson's River so let's keep moving we're nearly there Okay, so not too steep going down that little ridge. And here we are. This is the Jackson's River. There we go, please keep out. And there are those particular, uh, the rush vegetation that we saw on the, uh, on the sign just a little bit before. Uh, and then the river runs down here. It, the sign does say, keep out. That does look very nice, but there's a lot of planes taking off every few minutes, as I said earlier. Very beautiful colours, look at that. I'm guessing it will be even nicer during uh, autumn. It's currently summer, but I'd say the colours of these trees would be a bit more vibrant in summertime, although it does look really nice at the moment. So the organ pipes, as they are referred to, 
uh, the rock formation which has formed the shape and the appearance of organ pipes is right before us after a short walk 15 minutes or so down the little walkway uh, or ridge and here we are look at this wow we've got the beautiful Australian landscape around the organ pipes the Jackson River and then right before us we have the formation I'll zoom in there we go of stone which appears to look like the organ pipes that you traditionally see in a church over the years uh, due to a number of eruptions volcanic eruptions that is the stone or maybe lava which it once was has cooled down and due to maybe atmospheric pressure or uh, the nutrients in the ground uh, or a number of other kind of influences uh, environmental influences the rock has formed in that particular way this is amazing I'll get a little bit closer and it actually it starts off lower and it gets higher look at that particularly interesting and then we've got the river or the stream that flows at the bottom of this amazing uh, creation not man-made creation that's for sure natural creation wonder if we can see any platypus or any wild animals around here not at the moment it's a very peaceful morning there's not many people here uh, today is midweek I've chosen to come here today uh, during the week when everyone is at work so I can have the place to myself and I can wander around and and narrate what I see without the sounds but uh, or the disruptions but there's probably one particular disruption that we can't avoid and that's obviously the airport which is not too far away from here and the planes flying overhead so please excuse that if it gets a little bit loud at times but just to kind of give you some scale on how particularly big this area is uh, I've put myself into view and you can see that these uh, this formation is quite high like it's tall look at that I'd say it's probably a few hundred meters up to the top so great place to come and get some peace and quiet and to do some hiking get some photos as well uh, great Instagram shots or photos with the family um, or if you just want to do some exercise uh, there's a lot of uh, trails in this area and you can do some hiking it doesn't need to be professional hiking they're just kind of low level easy walkable tracks uh, can be done by you know people from 7 to 70 I'd say and maybe beyond but this area the particular organ pipes is the highlight of this particular national park here in Victoria or Melbourne and just kind of reinforcing it's only about 20 minutes away from the Melbourne uh, Central Business District so if you do come to uh, Melbourne uh, from abroad and you are staying in Central Melbourne you can very easily come out here to the organ pipes and and see this uh, great formation or this great um, piece of history let's call it because it, it is it is very old and it's probably thousands of years old I don't want to go into the specifics because I could be wrong and I don't want to misinform you but I encourage you to go ahead and do your own research uh, you can come out here see this formation and then head off down to the Macedon Ranges where we will be going shortly so take it all in for now and I hope that 
I'm encouraging people to come along and view uh, some of these great attractions that exist beyond the Melbourne CBD as well because although Melbourne CBD, the central area, is great, there's a lot to do and see beyond the CBD or beyond Melbourne. Uh, and if you come out here into these regions, you will have a great time. My trek throughout the Organ Pipes National Park continues. You can see behind me, there's a beautiful landscape, untouched uh, and very Australiana. Uh, this is typical of the landscape you'll see as you head out into the, the regions of uh, probably any eastern seaboard uh, city in Australia. So if you go outside of Melbourne or Sydney, maybe Brisbane, although it starts to become a little bit more tropical at the further north you go up, more so maybe southeast uh, Australia. This is the typical landscape. A lot of streams, rivers, a lot of grand trees, uh, a lot of wildlife, very lush. Uh, I just wanted to say that you need to watch where you're walking or else you don't want to fall in the water, but to enter this park, it's for free. Free entry, don't have to pay anything. Uh, walk straight in, park your car, there's also a car park, walk straight in, uh, hike down, and get the beautiful views and the clean, fresh air. Uh, but just also to note that today is particularly cool. It's overcast. On a hot day, this place will be very hot uh, so I'd recommend maybe coming in the morning and there's a lot of vegetation around me there's a lot of high grass on a hot day that probably means snakes as there's water there as well just in front of me so please factor all of this into consideration uh, be sensible wear the appropriate attire it's a little bit cool today so I've got the jacket on um, I was hoping to go to Bali at this time of year, but that didn't work out. Uh, so what I'm doing instead is bringing to you the nature and the beauty of Australia. Uh, I plan to bring you more footage of Victoria in the meantime. Look at that beautiful organ pipes behind me as I walk. Fresh air, take it all in and then hopefully resume my international duties or international travel next year sometime. I think it's also important that people uh, from all countries explore their own country as well. Uh, in Australia, we have so many great places to see. Uh, and a lot of these places you can see for free, like the organ pipes. And you don't need to travel far, it's good exercise because you're walking. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost much. Uh, and you're also uh, getting a better understanding of your lo local area, uh, local environment. So I encourage people to also travel locally. Uh, it can be done on the weekend, can be done midweek as I am now. I'm here during the, during the week while everyone is sitting in their office in front of the computer slaving away as I did once upon a time I am here taking in the fresh air near the beautiful streams with nature I encourage everybody to come out to nature and uh, you never know you might just see a platypus or you might see uh, an interesting bird you just don't know what you're going to come across and hopefully we might see a kangaroo today because I'd really like to film a kangaroo and show you guys particularly for my uh, subscribers who are, are abroad So we've come to a pretty interesting spot uh, on the track. I'll show you the track that we've just 
Well, I've just walked down. I've just come down from there, which where the organ pipes are down there. I've come down here. And now, if you look up on top of the trees, you'll see a number of these boxes, uh, obviously man-made, and they're for the birds and to encourage the wildlife um, and encourage breeding of the, the native species that exist in this area. So when you do come to the uh, Organ Pipes National Park, as well as looking down, look up as well, and you'll see that there's these boxes, man-made boxes on certain trees, and if you're lucky enough, you might actually see uh, some native species coming in and out of there. It's actually a really good day to be here. It's not too hot. Uh, it's, um, it's 20 degrees today. You will notice I am wearing a jacket, but I am starting to get hot as I am walking around the National Park. So the jacket will be off soon. Uh, and I'm guessing it may heat up a little bit more, but there's this cool breeze in the National Park that just cools everything down and it's, it's very kind of refreshing and it makes it even more comfortable and enjoyable to wander around uh, the park. As you're walking along the tracks you'll notice that there's a lot of trees that look burnt out uh, or cut down and piled up and I, I do think that they're doing some controlled burning here and they're actually replanting new trees as you can see in these particular uh, barbed wire uh, little plantation spots that the rangers that are very active in the area uh, seem to be caring for the trees to kind of avert any type of disaster in a uh, in a bush you know god forbid in a bushfire scenario so the active rangers who you will see around the park are constantly caring for the trees and cutting down the the you know the older branches uh, piling them up and then what they do is uh, I'd say they do some controlled burning. One of the other major features of the National Park is the Rosette Rock. A big piece of uh, basalt stone or, or rock as they call it uh, that has formed over the years as this particular sign indicates. And it is quite a hit with the visitors, but unfortunately, uh, we cannot go any further due to uh, some recent flooding. And I won't be able to show you guys this particular rock that's quite interesting. It formed over thousands of years and uh, it's quite unique. I'll, I'll show you the photo, obviously, but it's not as good or as enjoyable as uh, the real thing but unfortunately it's been fenced off and I cannot go beyond this point so I won't be able to bring you and show you the rosette rock today it is a shame uh, won't be able to show you the the rosette rock but we'll endeavor to kind of find a few other landmarks and points of interest in the park and have a look at them uh, but all needless to say it's still an enjoyable experience hopefully they can get the uh, viewing area for that rosette rock up and running and people can come back and enjoy this beautiful national park in its entirety so it's starting to get a little bit busier now I uh, just met this gentleman down here who told me that he's driving back from up northern Victoria and he's back uh, coming back down to Melbourne and thought he'd pop in which is great see it's even if it's not a uh, primary destination you can always pop in here to the organ pipes uh, National Park and just have a look around on your way to and from uh, your destination and that's what I'll be doing today uh, I'd be going to Mount Macedon shortly and I thought I'd pop in here as well and get a glimpse of uh, how the Organ Pipes National Park is going. You can see it's pretty steep and that's where I was previously down there and that's where the Organ Pipes are in that direction. 
So I'm standing in a pretty interesting spot now. Uh, and I'm pointing the camera towards a little organ pipe, if we call it that. If you can see there, there seems to be what is uh, the same rock formation that we looked at previously down uh, near the river. But now obviously it's been covered in vegetation and only a little bit of it is exposed. Uh, which is probably indicating that, you know, the vegetation has covered a lot of these rock formations and uh, before this became a national park, they had to pull out a lot of uh, vegetation. Uh, I think it was non-native vegetation uh, in order to restore it back to what it is today, which is its original form. So that is interesting. But what I want to show you that from this particular spot that I'm standing in, uh, you can see uh, or get a perspective of uh, the Organ Pipes National Park from two different worlds. So you have the yesteryears, and what we have here is that uh, that rock formation and what it has developed into over thousands of years. But if you look out in the distance, you'd see that there's modern day buildings, a perspective of current day life and modern day society as we know it and what was here or what has been here and uh, for the past thousands of years so in the distance as you can see there's people's houses I'm thinking and you've got the power lines as well running through this little valley uh, down here and over here you have its original shape and form uh, for thousands of years what I have in front of me as well is uh, the Scoria Cone picnic area and these particular rocks are from the days of the volcanic eruptions. This, this particular section is under uh, refurbishment or construction at the moment. They're running through a process of fixing it up, maybe making it a little bit more inviting and you can see it's fenced off and I've walked through the fences. but this particular stone uh, or rock you might real you kind of um you might know this particular rock as people put it in their homes and it's actually the stone has little holes in there the little rocks we'll have a look so all of this would have come out from a volcano many thousands of years ago and it is quite native to this area of the National Park and I better not stay in here for too long as they are doing some works here uh, we'll let the people do their work but I thought I'd show you this section as well it's a kind of a red color and um, quite quite vibrant actually great color unfortunately this section is closed uh, the Scoria Cone Picnic Area with the native uh, rocks that once came out of the uh, volcano uh, in a bit of a restoration stage. I'll stand here behind the fence. I won't go inside, but I'm sure whatever they're doing here, they're going to make it look great and people will be able to come back here and have picnics or rest and under the trees again as they did in the old days. But yeah, the... Organ Pipes National Park is undergoing a bit of work at the moment, which is good to see. I'm sure it will be much better in the future. Hey guys, we're waving goodbye to uh, the Organ Pipes National Park and now we're on our way to Mount Macedon. It's been a great little visit to the Organ Pipes National Park. Uh, like I said earlier, great little place to stop off. Uh, to or after wherever you're coming from spend an hour or two here and take in the sights of some local attractions okay let's go to the next stop